Angry Dick here. What we're going to be doing today is cooking an elk tongue. This is a tongue out of a bull I killed this last fall. And me and my son are going to be cooking it up today on New Year's Day for some hors d'oeuvres before dinner. What we have here is the tongue that has been frozen since last September. And what I'm going to be doing is soaking it in a brine that we made yesterday for the turkey that we're cooking today. So I figured we'd go ahead and soak it in the brine. That's apple juice, orange juice, water, salt, some other spices. I'll post the recipe for that at the bottom of this video. Okay, next we have a pot with about two quarts of water in it that we're going to bring to a boil. It's boiling and we're going to add some spices to it. So we're going to add a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of bay leaves. Some onion powder. Some seasoned salt. And a little bit of salt. And Richard here is going to grab the tongue. Bring the bucket over. So we have the tongue here. It's been soaking in the brine for about two or three hours. Next we're going to place the tongue in the seasoned boiling water. And then we're going to put the lid on the water. And we're going to let it come to a rapid boil again and then we'll turn it down and let it simmer for one to two hours until the tongue is tender where you can easily poke a fork into it. Okay, so we've been boiling the elk tongue for two hours, and here we have it on the cutting board. It's been cooling for about 30 minutes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the skin off the tongue before we can slice it up. So I'm just going to make a slice right down the center of the tongue in the skin, and then we're going to try to peel it off. I'm going to come back up here, finish this cut, and we see if the skin peels off. It's a little bit tough. So it's not peeling like I thought it was going to. So I'm cutting it off. I feel like maybe I needed to cook it a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna slice it off the best I can. It's peeling pretty good in some spots and in other spots I'm having to slice, so I'm just gonna slice it off for now. Probably losing a little bit of meat. But, you live and you learn. Maybe boil for two and a half hours. Here we have the tongue. After I've kind of cut the skin off, it didn't peel off real well, so maybe a little more time in the water, and then we're just gonna slice it this way to make little miniature steaks. My hand's probably in the way here. Turn it. And then we and Richard are going to take a piece of this and we're going to try it. For the first, first time, time ever. Never had elk tongue before, Cheers. so let's see how it goes, huh? Good. That's really good. It's kind of rubbery. Kind of rubbery, but good. It's kind of rubbery. That's not bad. And there you have it, elk tongue. 